Despite their cruelty, annoyingness, and the fact that everyone hates them, Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara are actually interesting characters. Just like Babs, you can tell they don't bully the Cutie Mark Crusaders just for the sake of being mean. They have motives. But what are their motives? Well, getting a Cutie Mark is one of the, if not the biggest, part of a pony's life. At that moment, their entire future is revealed. Twist describes Cutie Marks as something you get when they discover that certain something that makes her special. And in that same episode, listen to what Twilight says about ponies without cutie marks. They still get to experience the thrill of discovering who they are and what they're meant to be. And they've got all the time in the world to figure it out. With all those things said, let's look at this through the perspectives of these two fillies. Imagine the day when Diamond Tiara, or Silver Spoon, got their cutie mark and realized their spoiled personality had just become their destinies. The other blank flanks could be anything they want. But not them. They could only ever live up to the crown on their head or their silver spoon. This perspective is actually pretty depressing and definitely changes the way you think about them. It also explains why the two are so inclined to bullying. They're jealous of the blank flanks. I'd be too if I was stuck being a snobbish brat. I feel like something between them and the Cutie Mark Crusaders is changing in Season 4. In Flight to the Finish, the usual insults weren't bothering the Cutie Mark Crusaders. But you know what you don't have? You are Cutie Marks! Blank, 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 blank. What does that have to do with flight carrying? So Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon took it to the next level and made fun of Skulu's handicap. But how do we stop them? We already called them Blank Flanks! And we need to find a new way to get under their skin. Although this did create the response they were looking for, the two just stopped bullying. In Twilight Time, they seemed to be almost friends. Now I understand that they were just using the Cutie Mark Crusaders to hang out with the princess, but usually the two would have nothing to do with the Cutie Mark Crusaders at all. It definitely is a big change. I can't help but feel like these two actually admire the Cutie Mark Crusaders and wish to join their clubs despite the fact that they've already found their Cutie Marks. What do you guys think? Are these guys good characters, or are they just the stereotypical bully characters you find in any other movie? Tell me what you think in the comments. This is the Brony Notion, signing out until next Wednesday. Bro-hoo!